well. Uh, and then condition three is just, you know, we have a long, drawn-out, hard-fought game, which I think is maybe the most likely result, and they somehow bring it in the end. We are going to be hopping into the action, though. It is just two to kick things off, and we are into the fun. Chris J already in towards the lower tunnel, trying to catch somebody unawares, and I'm going to come to test him. It does seem like Borup is wary about what could have happened, but Chris J going to be all as lonesome for this one. Let's see what he actually does. Who's going to spring the trap first? We're already 25 seconds into the round, and everyone's playing a bit wary here. Utility is good for Mad Lions if they just want to pop it, but they're wary. Something's going on. Chris, though, holds the line, finds his tap, and maintains the angle. Wants a little bit more. That's the second. Borup trying to take the duel as well, and while he finds the trade, the damage already been done. Two players down, and a wounded saucer limits the options for Mad Lions. His top mid player has tried to maintain space, but Malice has kept the pressure on. They have this information, but there's a minute on the clock. There's still at least a little bit of utility left. Two smokes, three at that, a molly as well. An execution would be strong, but Rops, he'll try and cut off this rotation, finds the information, and that means these two players from Mouse Sports can stay hunkered down on the site, and Dexter can buy even more time off this smoke. They're going to go through it. They're going to go through it. They're going to risk it. No, Borup just wanted to see if he couldn't find the angle. And shockingly, Dexter doesn't even flinch. Not pushed off it. And they won't hear the drop either, so they may have the read that the player's still there. They're going to reroute, they're going to regroup, they're going to come back towards B, and they don't have a whole lot to work with. Molly will go in towards backside. That force is frozen out, but it forces him into a fight that he will win. Looks for more. Not going to have it, but it's Rops. Rops is like the final boss of this roster who's locked down the site. Dexter even drops the bomb in front of him. So now Saucel distracted, won't even check and clear the corner. It plays out to perfection. Nice pistol round there from Maus. Getting Chris J activated early on here, getting him into the fight. Uh, and that is very encouraging. Just a pistol yeah. round, but you do like to see it. You do like to see it for Mouse Sports, and I like the discipline they show in that round, right? They garner the man advantage, and then it's just the case of playing that ping pong, right? Keeping your information in your favor, keeping the damage in your favor uh, with, with hunkering down that mid area. Dexter as well, just playing on his off angle towards short, finds great value, and well, without a bomb plant, Ad Lions buy into this round is not looking stellar. A good opportunity for Mouse to get things rolling nice and early on as Acor finds his head out towards mid. He's another guy who's been, uh, I mean, uh, he's receiving a little bit of criticism. He's been a bit of a lightning rod on this team, Acor. Uh, hasn't necessarily had the off performances you would hope for from him. Uh, but getting us started with the scout, always nice to see. Dust 2, one of those, those scouty maps. I'm not connecting just yet. Catwalk control is established, and there's actually a fair chunk of utility to try and get in towards a bomb plant. Unfortunately, if they do want to go off cat, it's going to be heavy presence from Maus to hold them at bay. Is that, that's a double smoke. From mid. Yeah, double smoke. This opens up the options to split in towards this B site, but two players are already there, and you see a wraps coming through. Chris J is pushed up deep through long, and has the information that this is not likely to be an A hit. So, Ulster down on the site. It's Rops, but he can't quite find the shot, so the Famas goes down, and now it's just a sole player to anchor. Frozen on the site. He'll find his first. Needs a little bit more, but the adjustment not quite there, so site secured, but it's man advantage in the retake for Mouse, and, well, they have control over towards the the tons as well. JL now out of options, getting pinched from both angles, has to attempt to take this duel. But he's just not going to be able to come out on top of Mouse. They take some damage, but they're able to win out of the force. Yeah, yeah, it's expensive, but it's fine. It's fine. Three players alive. You allow the bomb plant, still shouldn't net a full buy here in Mad Lions. Likely going to have to take their lumps, take a little bit of pistols, and, and see what they can't work there. The initial foray was really successful. Rops going down without a kill uh, is huge, but even with the pressure in towards the player on B, right? Frozen caught out looking one way, shot from the other. They couldn't quite capitalize. Can't get in towards the site healthy. Lose players on the periphery as you're going for that plant. And then by the time the retake comes in, you're down in bodies. And it's just not viable to hold on in. So Mad Lions, an opportunity there. Not quite an opportunity they could seize. But they are going to be bringing quite a bit of weaponry into this round. saucel has got the scout. And there's a heavy investment on the util. So they're hoping for another bomb plant to come through. Meanwhile, Maus, their arsenal is just getting stronger and stronger. No more scouts, no more SMGs, nothing to deal with there. Just rifles all the way down. Couple of oh, up here for TMD. Fama, there you go. 
You always got to get a couple of those into your back mm -hmm. pocket, but uh, smoke out towards mid. Should allow Borup to try and lurk his way towards Cap. The primary target that's out towards Long and Dexter gets beheaded. A great shot from Moro. Still, Chris J in the pit. Do they know about his position? Not quite yet. He's not giving away the game, and Acor's bait might do even better as he takes down Saucel. Still, trapped behind the garbage bin. It's a tough position to be in for Mad Lions in the Fomai. Make that even worse. A quick, clean cleanup for Mouse Sports is bored. We left alone. A dig, a dream, but no bomb, and not a whole ton of a chance. Minimal at best. Never count a man completely out with the dig in hand. Might be giving a fight. There's a player isolated in the longhouse. Oh, Acor's coming, looking, but Acor won't miss. Four kills on the round for Acor. Not a bullet gone back in damage. Uh, that's a good round early. Six and one right off the rip. Obviously, that 4K going a big way to leading itself to that scoreline. Uh, but he's going to start to put some money away for the future, for the eventual future, where he might want to pick up that big green. That's nice to see. That's nice to see, Amy. That's an uh, early investment strategy. You know, put that money away. And it turns into something great in the future. Yeah, I never say you didn't learn something from Counter Strike. Some investment <laughs> tips in Acor. <laughs> he had a chance there with the opt to take down Waro, but misses out on his opportunity. Is in this round, it's a pretty respectable buy. Only player with the lesser weaponry will be Waro on that aforementioned scout. Is again, Mad Lions will show some early presence out towards mid here, leaving Borup down towards the lower tons on a lurk. Is out sports. And position that op of Acor out towards Catwalk. It's in a good position here, but the bomb will posture towards long. Only one player there to contest. Dexter will probably just have to try and take one duel, fall away, but that cat presence maintains its strengths, and well, Acor finds his mark. Oh, the nade. A chunky nade. And players gotten back around towards Kor. Acor is coming into support with that AWP as well to keep Dexter clean, and Acor is hitting now. Activated early, Dust 2, just one of those maps that you can take over if the sniper's having a day. I don't think he realizes a player's gotten into pit. Oh, he definitely does not realize a player's gotten into pit, but it won't be punished. It will not be punished, and that's going to be a prime missed opportunity for Saucel. Could have given them some space to work with. That Molly hasn't spread. It does now, but Acor gets himself one more before he burns alive. He has done his work. He's done his job here. He's done his duty. And it's all going to be on to Saucel to find anything out of this round, and that's not going to be available. Off will be retrieved. Only one player lost in the round. And a 4-0 for Maus. Yeah, one thing Mouse is doing really well on this CT side is retaking space in towards the mid round, especially out towards mid. It's been a couple of rounds now where once those initial frags come out, you have a player re-clearing space either through lower tons or straight up through mid off a of flash from his teammate. In that round, they found a, a kill onto the onto the player from Mad Lions who is anchoring top mid, and in the past, they've been able to just find the information off of that. And, well, talking about that, that's ignoring just the pure power the op has in the hands of a core is... Bomb will be out towards B in this one. Little bit of utility behind the D. You look to just get some damage onto Mouse Sports. Try and shutter that CT sided economy best you can. And a bomb plant, that's the dream. Seems like they might try and go for a little bit of a burst through the mid doors. I think it's too early to really see any of the posturing. I do love this new Deagle skin, I gotta say. The Fennec it's Fox. Pretty. I like it. Just I'm a fan. A nice one. Something about it's like if you put an animal on a skin, it's just it's just better. It's just better. I don't know. I haven't bought a CS skin in a while, but I, I unboxed the one. Oh, what is it? The opted has all the little animal stickers on it. I'm a fan of it. Uh, Always take free money from Valve. Yeah, I think that's what it's called. I don't. Yes. I don't. I'm not a big skin person. I'm not either, but I do have that the op paw with a with a I got a stat track back dogs. new one. It's worth like fifty oh, bucks goodness. for two fifty. Oh 50. goodness! I'll take that deal any day of the week. And Lexter, well, he'll take a free frag. No trade potential there. As Chris J will jiggle in and out. He wants a little bit more, but those P two fifties do have a bite. Just a nip for now, as he'll stay alive. It's Sossel out towards Long, who might just be peeking into three. Chris J hey, gets one. I'm sure, it's nothing funky is happening. Is this one just a lockout for Mouse Sports four up? Oh, wants to find a frag, but I'll be able to pick it up towards mid, so it's Mouse 5-0 lead early on here. Mad Lions, though, will have a full investment back on in, and they'll finally be able to get this op out for Waro. I'd like to see something here. 
Uh, I, I feel like these rounds just haven't been inspired so far. Yeah. Obviously, they're not they're not winning their fights, but they also just haven't done anything that interesting. I mean, that anti eco or that eco rather was, uh, yeah. But yeah. it's an eco, so it, it's tough to be too critical. But let's see what they've got. It seems like they can go fast and towards the long fight. Utility sailing over the doors, and look at this response. Player in towards lower, two up on catwalk early on, and there's gonna be the fight lost towards lower. TMB getting on the board, and that could be the difference maker. Players caught out towards long. This long fight is paying dividends now. That it is. That's a risky situation. Acor and Rops, the only ones surviving. They still got utility though. They still got the money. They can justify going for fights, trying to bring this back through. Minute 30 on the clock, and Mad Lions, with their control, they're content to slow down and see if they can't bait a response from Mouse. Perhaps we'll talk close here, but Mad Lions, they're just cutting noise, hoping that Mouse will get a little hungry for information, hungry for frags and re-push on in. And, well, that hunger's there, but it's out towards mid. This office also won't be contested as Mad just looks to group up, probably take this one out towards A. That wouldn't quite be the right call as... Players of Mouse are here. It's one man on the site and Rops, and he has support of Acor as well. A flash could allow a bit of a peek out towards Long here, but with a minute on the clock, Mad Lion still has options. If they want to reset, they can. They're going to stick to their guns. They're going to stick to their guns. They're going to come on through. They're going to come through Long, so there is a chance. So you're telling me there's a chance. And there is indeed. It's not going to be a prime one, but Acor, with the way he's been hitting, might just be able to turn this around. Molly's in. He's burning. He's burning, and Acor will not be able to get away. Trying to reposition. Caught out in the open, and that should seal the deal. Rops backing away, just trying to keep his hands on the A1S. Bomb's going down, and that'll finally be around on the board for Mad Lions. Finally. You refer to the previous rounds from Mad as uninspired. I'd call that one thorough. Once they got their man yeah. advantage off of punishing that aggression, they completely hit the brakes, right? They know that it's some strong gunners left alive for Mouse. See if they're going to make a play. You have time to play with. You have numbers. You have utility to burn. They did exactly that. And well, they caught out an aggressive peak. The flashes were excellent to completely isolate the opera of Acor and Rops was just not quite in a position to trade on out. That's what we wanted to see from this Mad Lion squad. But like you brought up, this economy is Excellent for Mouse Sports. The trust fund's paying off. They'll have a couple more buys left in them. Ad Lions need to find consistency. Chris J bringing in those streamer bucks. They're ready. They're ready to buy back in. I'm hoping for a double up here, to be quite frank. There it is. Oh, Rops has picked it up. It's going to be Rops on the secondary. They're not going to give Chris J the satisfaction and admittedly Rob's does typically secondary for them on this map I believe so uh, you know stick with your guns and uh, and have your your Phil play as he has been and Chris Jake to be quite frank I mean seven and two right off the rip that's uh, not bad by any measure for a stand-in he's acquitting himself nicely as we knew he could early pressure in the tunnels maybe expecting some more of that underpass aggression as they have seen a fear few times we've seen it two or three rounds already uh, in this very fresh game I might get a fight outside the longhouse. Oh, there's Just... a chance for it. Spray? Saucer, can he find it? Molly's for That should deny any chance. Looks risky, but it's only a look. Not anything to actually come to fruition. As Acor plays a dangerous game, spots the leg. This is out on the chance, but he's still safe in this close corner. He'll be flashed up and pushed back, but Mad Lions again. They're being thorough about this, not taking undue risks. TMB only claim a bit of space as Waro. Reposts over towards the catwalk. Peaks there. Well read by Waro to find the opener. Now options are abound. They have mid control. They have a player already lurked up through tons. B split here could be fantastic. Maybe even just apply a little pressure towards A early on. Look for a rotation. Cut that off through mid. Again, I like how slow they're taking this. They're being careful. Dexter will retrieve that AWP though. He's going to continue to exert a threat. Oh, drops down, I think, just as he would have spotted the head of a player. So this could get risky. They know the player's dropped. They've got Chris J out in the open. Dexter will take one. But this is such a tough fight, and he is overwhelmed. Just too many numbers, too many enemies at the gate. And this is going to be another round that just has to be conceded. This time it's Frozen, who will try and cling on to his gun. But at this point, emboldened, they might just want to go for the hunt. They've got this bomb down. They know where Frozen's been playing. They know he plays as a bit of a B anchor. And Sauso will ensure that he can't get away. It's a team ace for Mad Lions as well to net their second round. And, well, now you've got two in a row. Now you've seen two rounds where they win handily, win convincingly. 
Uh, so I'll, t- I'll take back my previous uninspired comment. You know, just sometimes those first six rounds of a map, meh, then you get yeah. rolling. And I don't want to say that they've changed a whole ton, right? They've just gotten a feel for it. They realize that yeah. Malice puts a lot of emphasis on the mid-round uh, aggression out towards mid, right? They're either trying to push someone up uh, into lower tons or maybe push someone out towards long. Oro just narrowly missing out on a shot. There is an opportunity to flash into this re-peak, but Oro's found himself on the safer line. He'll take down the Deagle and... With that, this off of Acor caught out on an island. He won't have his chance for a refrag as the bomb makes its rotation maybe back towards the A side. That seems to be where they want this finish, but again, it's the time. Work off of it. Spend your moment to look for over aggression. Borup will hold and now rotate to group with his team towards this A site. Frozen does have some information here, though. The push in towards tunnels, they needed something to work out for them. And he's going to be on the flank. He's going to be on the flank. Yeah, looking for it. Time going to be everything here. Sossel going back to Jack. Sossel dropped. That's a gun down, but Frozen loses much of his health in doing so. And the reposition from Dexter means he's not going to be able to retrieve that weapon. But the hand cannon might just be enough. Cross ringing out, not connecting just yet. He'll have more opportunities. Player forced into Gandalf. They're out. They are ready for this fight. No, Waro coming late up long, but Waro silenced. Is playing a very dangerous game here, trying to connect, and he will eventually run out of opportunities. Bomb's going down. This op has to be saved by Frozen. At least some damage done, a little bit of a fight put up here from Mouse, but once again, they are washed out of a round. And such a heavy investment put in around this op. They bought everyone down to near zero. The money's not going to look good into these next couple of rounds, but at least for Frozen, he should be able to hold on to the big green. Into the next one again. It's Mad Lions able to punish aggression. This time it was over towards long. They just post someone up on the angle. Mouse was trying to enable that op to get something off a of flash play out long, but it doesn't work out. Eagle goes down and, well, speak of the op, so too does Frozen. That's a big punisher for the economy of Mouse. They finally run dry, and Mad Lions should be able to keep this spree of momentum rolling on down the road. They built nicely into it. Finally depleted the bank for Mouse. Trust funds run dry. Ain't no cash to spare. Now the chance to really twist the knife here. For the Mad Lions, bring it more towards an even score line. A little bit of a dancing towards mid. Waro has not taken the bait just yet. They are trying to tempt out the op shots. Maybe allow themselves in towards mid. Finally going to pull the trigger. There's not, I mean, they can't really hope to do anything, right? It's like, no. okay, we've got confirmation. There's an op watching this. Definitely can't test that. Not with what we've got. USP V op duel down mid. I think I have my money on the op, and well, looks like I've gambled correctly. Chris J gets beheaded by Mr. Waro. 2K is out sports. Fairly separated here. They have two players out towards the long, hunkered in that pit, trying to get some kind of cheeky bait in for Acor, who's playing the anti flash in that corner, but. Mad Lions isn't contesting this just yet again. Their T sides are so, so slow. On these rounds, Mouse, they just want their opportunity to find frags and nothing really given away for free. Again, another round where mid aggression gets punished. This time in mid lead, it was a USB. But still. Shh, they don't have to know that. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, what What are you going to do? You know, what? what is the match? You don't believe formula? in the double dink down mid? I mean, admittedly, I don't, I don't believe in it, but uh, they've got that it, takes right? a, you got to have faith in yourself. Kind of faith. If you have faith in the double dink down mid with the USP, I think you've joined the cult. Uh, this is going to be an overwhelm. They've even still got this mid control as well, so there's not even the chance for the pistols to potentially force them in towards the bomb. There's just nothing doing here, right? It's like, Acor, are you going to be able to hit a wicked shot here and drop one? Which ultimately would be but a, a, a speed bump for them. It's like a pebble hitting a windshield. No, not going to be able to do that. Clean round for Mad Lions. Clean conversion here. Everything is looking pretty dang good for the Lions. And you know what? There's a famous fable here. Nice mm. off fable, the mouse and the lion. You familiar with it, Mimi? I don't know. Maybe maybe you can recite it for us. Uh, I can give you the gist. I'll paraphrase. Okay. Uh, there's a there's a lion, king of the jungle. Sure, uh, sure. Who? I'm trying to remember what it is exactly. There's a lion, king of the jungle, who uh, finds a mouse, and okay. he says he's toying with the mouse, saying, you know, why shouldn't I just eat you? 
um, all this stuff, and then uh, uh, eventually the the for whatever reason the mouse says, you know, if you spare me now, I may come back to someday. Maybe I'll save you. And the lion laughs at that. I am the king of the jungle. How on earth could you save me? Blah 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 blah. blah. Uh, but eventually, decides to let the mouse go for one reason or another. I don't remember the specifics. Hey, Amen. The Chris J walks up mid, gets a kill, and instantly is traded. I'll get back to the fable in a second here. Uh, and that Four second up. might be now. This round's slowing down. Uh, they are going to take some long control, but suffice it to say, the lion then gets caught in a hunter's trap, caught in a net or some such thing, and the mouse comes along and chews him out of it and saves the lion. And the moral of the story is that help can come from the smallest of places. Ooh. And you shouldn't overlook anyone. Well, and the help in this also, round... That was supposed Shouldn't to be, be the flush, but uh, yeah, help doesn't come quite in time, but look at this. One versus two, frozen. Ugh, the money's not quite here, but I feel like you go for it, right? You're a young gun. You've got time on the clock. You know the bomb was dropped out towards mid and have a possibility to wrap back towards that T-sided spawn. Instead, he'll work his way up towards catwalk. It's the right angle as the utility is completely dried up here for Mad Lions, and that cross smoke is faded with 37 seconds left. They might just be forced straight on in towards this A site, and if Frozen can time his peak correctly, if he can use his one remaining flash at the perfect opportunity, oh no. he can win this oh one no. out, but he's not looking at just, but Bora, he's got the trade in Mad Lions. It's very risky, but in the rifle round, it will keep things even. Five to five. No tail of a mouse coming back in this one. It's the Lions looking dominant off this streak. Speaking of someone being quiet as a mouse right now, uh, Rops, what's going on? This is the guy yeah. we always expect to have a monstrous performance for this team. One in five right now. Uh, it's just not enough, right? Obviously, I, he's the guy you expect to lead the board. He's the guy who, who you expect to drop 30. Uh, and not much of a peep here. You expect him to be Mr. Consistency, but not seeing it quite yet. As Mad Lions, they've just got to contend with an anti-eco. And now I start to think bigger picture for Mouse. What can they change? That previous round on the rifles, they again tempted the mid-aggression. All it left was even trades. I think they have an alright call to, to try and force something forwards because Mad Lions defaulted. It has shown holes in some of these rounds, especially out mm. towards mid, but... Nothing has come free. Chris J is trying to exploit that angle again, and he might just catch Borp instead. It's Dexter out towards long. Nice shot, Rops. Slow start, but he's starting to hit. Deagle finds its value, but the trades are there, and now the site begins to open on up. Still, the force on the retake is strong here. One out in towards the CT. Spawn here is frozen, trying to spam away, but the smoke is still up and should give sanctity in the cross for TM. BJL on the site. Bomb will go down, and now is this is left just to the retake. There's no utility for mouse sports. They can only hope to whittle something away from range with the Deegs and the Scouts, but chances are slowly drying up as the clock does tick on down. It's frozen. Trying to be the tip of the spear on the peak towards the ramp, but his HP completely taken away, and he'll just fall away. Time too far gone. No kits on any of these players, and it will be six for Mad Lions. Really, as soon as that bomb went down, it was sort of a foregone conclusion. Maybe Rob saves this set of armor. Maybe he can find something here. At the top of the long house, that's what he's looking for. He's not really going to find much of anything, and now he is the last survivor. The only known survivor here. Nothing gained out of that round. Some really damage, though. Some chances, some possibilities, some questions posed, questions that were answered very comfortably by Mad Lions. Reminder, this is their map pick. This is a map that they love to play on Dust 2. Uh, so you do expect a degree of comfort here, but it has been five rounds in a row at this point for the Mad Lions side. So that is starting yeah. to become majorly concerning if you're a Miles fan. It's actually six in a row. Yeah. It's been a clean streak. Let's see what the solution is for Mouse Sports. Three of the scoped rifles. Chris J only with a scout to work with, that one that was saved over from the previous round. So, I'll have to see where he positions himself. But it definitely feels like Mouse has struggled to get these openers. The majority of the time, there's an op the op duel. It's been war up mm. to win it out in the early round, and we might just be set up for it again. Some flashes to clear out that lower tons push that that line's nose Mouse loves. But instead of committing into anything, I'll just pump the brakes for the moment. But in the meantime, space has been lost. Catwalk claimed their 
Dexter and a bit of an aggressive position towards Long on the op of Acor. Positioning is good here for Mouse, but Mad Lions, again, being thorough, reclearing the space, knowing that there's a risk factor to that catwalk. See, Dexter's already got the uh, hollow Mouse Sport stickers on his uh, A1S. It's an immediate slap on, right? I've got stickers there you go. now. Buy them on up, get it brand new. Dexter, you're on the team. Might as well wrap the stickers. Is <laughs> Where is this bomb headed? Are they trying to finish this one out towards A? They still have so much space towards this B side. I imagine they try and line up for a split through mid, but that requires drops going down on this side, if this even is the decision. With 30 seconds left, it seems like Catwalk is the bigger priority. Sell a fake towards B, hit this late towards the A site, but remember who's here. It's Chris J on the scout. It's another op out towards Long, oh. and it's frozen to find the kill. The fake, it's been bought into, but only one rotation. Still players posted out towards A. One on the ramp. That's Chris. He has a smoke to play around, and Acor has a head. A good shot out from Long, and he'll buy time for more. A second connection. The time is too far gone. Acor, the gateman at the door four four and finally mouse will break their streak yeah i mean he's the bouncer here right the velvet rope came back across he said you're not on the list and he tossed them right on out of the club no bomb plant there they didn't have the time really you get into a situation where you have to force the play against the op you have to risk it just hoping that he's going to miss a shot and allow you towards a bomb plant and Acor, well, he's not missing much right there. He's feasting today here on Dust 2. 14th kill found uh, at that point. He is leading the server by a good margin. Trying to take a duel with Rops here down mid. Rather, Rops and Foro will take the duel. Of course, not at hand. If he was taking a duel with Rops, that'd be a very confusing situation. Would be. Brother against brother. Turning on each other. Mouse Sports taking a lot of space here. Chris J's walked up deep towards Longhouse. He'll just post on that corner and maintain the space. You see that aggressive position. It calls for a rotation. You can gamble a little bit more towards B or at least have Dexter as a quick rotator out towards mid so long as you can maintain that information out towards Long. But Mad Lions, they don't seem too pleased about it. Again, in these mid rounds, they're comfortable with giving up that space because they know they can reclaim late, but in the last round, their streak of luck in, in finding success off those reclays finally ran out. If you're a fan of Mad Lions, you don't want to see them fall into that fallacy. I do want to rewind here just a little. Did you say they, they don't seem plused? As in, like, the opposite of non-plused? non plus Is that what it's I heard? Did I hear that correct? I think so, right? I don't, I don't think that's a thing. Really? All right. I mean... Is it? I'm, I'm, I'm questioning it now, uh, as uh, Mad Lions are questioning whether anyone's going to be able to hold them out at B. And the answer is a firm no. Eight core, nice no scope. But this retake is not an appetizing prospect. This is the kind of site that sometimes teams just walk away from. They know there's a player on the scaffolding, and the Molly will force TMB out. He baited it a little bit too much, showed the shoulder, gave them a little bit too much of a hint, got them excited. Give them a little, little, little spice, and now they're coming on in. Time is going to be an issue, though. It's so concerning. They don't really have the util for this. So JL is going to get that first shot. Oh, oh it's a oh, leg. It's not a kill. No way. Oh, and he sticks around and Acorn punishes one player. Now Waro just going to drop the molly, trying to keep himself alive. It's all a Chris J with one HP, but he dies. He dies to the Molotov. Would have died either way. Didn't have a way to win the round. But Mad Lions are going to be able to walk away with a seventh. Ooh, mad Lions. I mean, they just go for the straight up execute out towards B. And will the wrap look good to try and claim things on the retake? These opening frags, these opening damage that was found, especially out of TMB, is just too much to come back from. I had a little mini panic attack when the shot was missed towards the two players boosting on up. But for Mad Lions, they're still able to maintain. But for Mouse, They'll still have money in the bank because Dexter throws some util out towards Long, tries to run away, and the flash is good. Supported from Chris J to allow that, and the trade just not quite there. So not at Lions. Forced to reset just a bit, and as we have some time, I can give you an update that Plus is in fact a word. Bothered, no, phased, vexed, or concerned, not non Plus. What? It's a thing. No. Webster's. I'm seeing it on Wikipedia, but like... Wikipedia is a reliable source. No. 
All right. Well, JL, uh, okay. reliable source right. of frags there. He takes down Dexter. So around this start, it's super rough for Mad Lions. It's been even out to a three versus three, but what they make up for in players, they lack in map control. All they really hold is out towards long, a bit of pressure towards mid, but now they've been allowed much more space. Acor downs the house is wide open. It's a man anchoring towards the close corner. That's going to be Rops is full, frozen, excuse me. Still late on this rotation. If Bomb comes down now, and this gets infinitely more difficult, but Drops can try and deny there's more chance. Frozen posted up and he can't do anything about it. TMD will get it down, but the nade there is good. Rops takes down the planter. What's the information though? Do they know that that op is still alive out towards long? Because they have one smoke, they have a couple flashes, they have the utility to counter it on out, but that requires getting rid of jail in the back lines. And if you want Rops to contest, he'll have to make his way out towards long. He'll have to cross Saucel in the pit. This is a dangerous crossfire to contend with, and JL finds his frag. Now it's just left to Rops, and, well, that dries up the opportunities. Going for the shot off the jump, and he'll find it, but it won't convert into a round win. Saucel locks things out as Mad Lions take it. That is the most stylish way to lose a round, right? That's a <laughs> nuts elevator fight to go for, and then going go out back with a bang. for and somehow win. Uh, it doesn't really matter but it does look awesome. Also, I'm going to continue to contest this. Plus is not in the Merriam-Webster. Uh, I don't think it's a word. If it is a word, it's one of those ultra-technically words that theoretically non-plus means implies the, implica the existence of plus, but uh, I don't think you'll ever find anyone using that. I just used it. You did use it. You did. I, I, I suppose I am technically incorrect. But, there you go. Uh, I'm, out, I'm out here educating the youth on grammar. Very well, important. more learning. Is that grammar, vocabulary, I guess it would vocabulary, be. Vocabulary, I think, would probably be a, a better way to, to describe yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Improve Education my vocabulary. Education has to go both ways sometimes. Yeah, I'm old. My brain's losing things. Oh, what? Oh, uh, they're kissing. They don't know. They're kissing. Four they're kissing up, in the smoke. Four up. You need to figure this one out. Chris J. Just on the Might other have... side. It clears. Four up has the advantage in the duel. That's disastrous for Mouse. Acor can try and bail him out. It's a scout. Finds a shot. Can't escape. TMB gets the job done. But the rotates are here. Mouse posted up towards his A site. Saucel. Flash for himself allows aggression off the catwalk. Dexter, though, already. Oh, the spray. Not able to finish his food. And Saucel will escape still. The offensive towards Long. It's going well. It's Waro to miss out on a shot. And it's Dexter <laughs> to find two. The nade from Frozen 8. But JL still fighting out. He needs one more to finish. And he knows where Rops is. Is Molly in hand. It's a perfect set of utility. A flash to follow it up. But Rops, he's found respite. Not quite enough. Mad Lions clutch out the ninth to close the half. Moment to 
Well, Mimi, the Mad Lions have to be pretty plussed about that one. Uh, pretty darn pleased indeed. They start out 0-5 and only drop one of the next 10 rounds and the half 9-6. That is bonkers. Mouse sports, uh, or just mouse as they are now known. No more sports. No they, sports. Uh, they stay inside. They have been so struggling. Sad. Yeah, it's it's a big change. To be had, I think I even heard the players in the interviews still calling it mouse sports, so... Some adaptations, some rebrands, but Mad Lions, I don't know the pivot out of that one. Trying to make a brand pun. Didn't quite work. You hate to see it, but Mad Lions, <laughs> I love to see this scoreline. Good favor, pissed around win, but you better to continue their strong momentum. Utility reigns on in and JL, great angle. Cuts frozen off the boost, but the forces are still coming and out from lower. Ops is ready for the flank still. JL gets one more before he falls, so we stay three versus three, but Rops is the big issue. Saucel's job is to get rid of him, and the exterminator not quite up to the task as the re-rotation will come through. It's heading towards this A site. His mouse sports should be able to get that bomb down. TMD, or excuse me, TMB can do nothing to contest, but he might be able to find Acor. Acor, oh, on the line. Can't hit the shot. The USP rings true, but the plant is for Catwalk, and that space is well controlled for Mouse Sports. Rops posted it up, waiting for something to come on through as Mad Lines will group play this retake by two. They are working together here. To be a huge round to find for Mouse, give themselves some momentum back in, and Rops is back to his surgical self. Seems like he's warmed up into it. Now it's going to be left to pour up to pull off the clutch. Does have the P250, to be fair. First play, you're found. Needs one more shot. Can't have it. P250 on P250. It's Chris J who emerges out the other side. Huge round for Mouse, and I think the most encouraging factor for them is this guy on your screen. Rops, looking like Rops, which has been suspiciously absent, as you can see from his 46 ADR through the rest of the game. Yeah, and what was even better than Rops' frags was his positioning, right? He found the two biggest kills there in shutting down uh, the Lurk that was looking to come up through the lower tons, as well as reposting out towards mid and catching the rotations of Mad Lions. It's a big round to find to reinstill that confidence and, well, to add that momentum straight back on in the buy here. Excellent for Mouse Sports. You can't quite say the same for Mad Lions, but Deke Scouts, they can find their mark if the day is right. And... They seem to be hitting pretty well thus far as TMB hold that off angle past the smoke. Look to take an early shot out here towards long, but Mouse not giving the fight away just yet. It's a boost on oh. over an Acor. That's a lovely shot. TMB gets his head ripped straight on off and with smoke skewed up for the cross. This might just be a simple hit out towards the ace site. Of course, having a heck of a game here. 12 to this point after that ripper of a scout shot. Nice opener here. They're going to throw the cross smokes, and Acor collects one more victim. Now he's got the positioning in towards pit. They've got a free path towards the bomb plant. There's the gray carpet of smokes rolled on out, and despite maybe just the slimmest of gaps, four up can only do a bit of damage off of that. The bomb's going down. This is going to be a save here for Mad Lions. They want no piece of it. They want to keep what little they have to fight into the next round, and this is over and done with. The terror of Acor Scout has just sealed the deal and brought this gap to within one. Weapons will be maintained, so at least there's something for Mad Lions to try and continue this damage. But a flawless round 
found for mouse, that's exactly what they needed to, like you say, reinvigorate this team. Question now is, what do they do to find consistency? Because with a player like Rops hitting his shots, as well as, I mean, Chris J having a pretty impressive start to the game, they're, they can kind of let these individuals loose, right? You let Rops be Rops, find those entries for the team. And for Mad Lions, they were such a structured T-sided team. Mouse Sports, they can have that effect, but when Mouse is hitting, or excuse me, when Rops is hitting, let him be mm -hmm. himself. It is certainly a difference maker. We'll see if he continues to do so. So far, obviously, those pistol kills are one thing. Just need to keep it flowing here. Keep it flowing. Could be a real difference for this team. Let's see if Waro can get something spicy going with the scout here. That's, to my eyes, their one way that they could potentially convert this round. And Okay, it's going to be a duel in towards mid. They know they've got the player isolated. Oh, just wants this fight. He's going for it, but Acor was ready every step of the way. They've gained a lot of control in towards the tunnel, but there should be information from Miles that players are there. I don't know if more than one player was spotted, but they've got to be wary, right? They've got to be put on notice, and Miles appear to be ignoring it, at least for the time being. They've got the Xbox smoke to give them a bit of cover. Now there's the check back in. Frozen collects one, but JL is still there. JL is still threatening, and this crunch in towards mid could get awkward. Chris Dre... Trading one for one, and this is so messy, so expensive. Still, it's a round that Mouse will be able to emerge on top of, but at what cost? Well, at a fair chunk of cost of uh, equipment. Still, the money's there. They'll be able to reinvest. Yes, it's damaging, but it's not a hard stop on the economy. It's not a hard stop on the momentum the Mouse Sports has gained, but... For Mad Lions, on the other hand, they'll finally get their rifles on out. And love the op for Waro. Just the single big green in this round, as uh, this one does not feel very live. No, it feels distinctly unlive. You hear the telltale tick and tick, tick, tick of the chat, and everybody chilling in spawn, looking at each other with knives out. So I have a sneaking suspicion this one's uh, going to be replayed. And indeed, it is. Not sure what's going on there. Hopefully, it will be resolved rather quickly. But uh, this mm -hmm. does give us a chance to launch back into a vocabulary discussion. Elliot, our fabulous ticker guy, has uh, come in in support of my argument that plus is, in fact, not a word. And apparently, it comes from the Latin for no more. Huh. The nonplussed part. But doesn't that mean if there's Latin for no more, what's Latin for more? In mm, uh, Right? That's a good like, question. Because if Latin for more is plus, why can't we have that in English? Why can't we steal that? Take that into our language. I mean, it, let's let's be honest here. When we're talking about video games, we use some a lot faker words than plus, in my True. opinion. True. True. You're not wrong. You, uh, I look. I've I've seen your Twitter. You've got quite the creative vocabulary uh, for what's going on there. Keeping up with the with the the shit posting on your Twitter is just. Sometimes I I look at it and I just don't even understand what's going on, and it makes it's me just, feel very old. Indeed. We've we've. Uh, some people might say devolved as a society. We've evolved as a society <laughs> to have our our own dialect. Uh, if that's good or bad, uh, not my question to answer. But if Send this it. pause is good or bad for Mad Lions, I feel like it might be, right? You get a little extra time. Mouse Sports feeling hot. Cool them down. Have a moment to talk things through. Fix things up going into the rest of this game. When you get that action rolling, you get to start off with a rifle round and you get to start feeling good. Oh, fun fact. Team Sponge. Hmm. That's pretty impressive. 14 kills. Oof. Not exactly ideal. What event was that at that we had Team Sponge? What was that uh, show match for? I'm trying to hmm. remember. It's been a long time since we had... Chris Chase, is, uh, he's a show match fragger. If you got a show match team, pull this guy on in. He's the man for the job. There you go. Maybe he's the man for the job in the server, too. Uh, when you get into the officials, that's got to also be a, an interesting dynamic, right? Having a player that was benched and pushed away from the roster, pulling them back on in. I mean, I know everyone's a, a professional on the team, but still, there, there's a little bit of underlying, like, eh, this is a little weird, but it's an opportunity for Chris to prove himself for the team looking out there for, for maybe a new IGL, a new player into their squad. This would be a good way for him to show that he's still, he's still got the sauce, right? He's not just a sub in for Team Sponge. Not just a seven. 
for Team Sponge. It does seem like we have a little bit of a power issue going on here. Players dropped on out is going to need to get that power back on. They're going to need to go turn the hand crank on their generator, get the gerbils running to get the power going here uh, so that they'll be live. It does mean that we're going to uh, take a little bit of an extended break here, potentially, hopefully not too extended. Uh, so we're going to take a quick break, folks, and we will be right back just as soon as we have power to our players' PCs. back in thank you backup generators we appreciate you and all that you do for us so 99 all tied up here a little bit of a break there forced by the uh around and now we'll see if that's cooled mouse's momentum reminder they started the first half 5-0 didn't go so well for them Boro gonna get started early on here Connecting shots, looking for more. Overwhelmed though, Chris J already so far forward in towards the site. He's looking for everything here. And with Dexter finding another kill, this should be a bomb plant, and it's looking pretty good to be a mouse round. The bomb's going down. A molly in deep as well is going to prevent them from getting on this retake. And at some point, they have to start asking questions. There's a player in lower tunnels as well. There's a flank. There's a flank. Is Rob's going to be able to punish them? As they retreat, he finds one. He's looking for more. Going to go around in towards the tunnels. This is the save already called, but now they've got no safe harbor to go to. they got nowhere to dock their ship. It's all rocks and storms. It's all pressure and pain. And Mouse Sports is going to try and compress them on into a little bit more damage. Every gun they can take out of their hands is like finding gold. Locked in here completely. And there's even more rotating in from Mouse Sports. And Molly and Close also has to use some of his utility just to maintain his life. And his bore up goes down. The chances of survival are grim. Couple seconds. Just need to keep it going. But Dexter will deny. Mouse lose a player on that hunt. But it's worth it. Get rid of all the weapons. Completely cripple the economy for Mad Lions. They can try and force on into this round. But the buy will not be stellar. And well, for Mouse, 
they shake it off. They lose a man early in that round. Waro took a clean shot, but they were still able to push forward. And surprisingly, it was mostly off of Chris J. Just taking an absolutely psychopathic peek over towards the catwalk, finding the head of the opera out long, opening up that A bomb site and even more mm. to ensure that it was just a save for Mad Lions. Nothing wrong with getting some entries going from your stand and you'd like to see that. Obviously, I do keep saying stand. It's Chris J, right? Like he's been a, a competitive player for a bazillion years. Experience is uh, not lacking for Chris J. Yeah. Been on the before greatest time, stages. Four oh, time there was Chris J. Oh, no way you can pull that off. Does die. Bora still in the back lines. And with a man advantage, this gets risky. The shout, the scout, Ooh. excuse me, will tap away. And Bora will find more. Not quite taking down Robs. The site is secured, but the retake potential is huge here. However, look at that utility, I suppose. Look at the lack of utility. There's nothing for Mad Lions to work with. Find their way back in towards this B bomb site. But a pinch is coming through. Over towards the tunnels, two will push as it's just so also isolated. Now they've broken out and take space out towards mid. Realize that those other players are going to be pinching on in. And now, think of the discussion do we want to just keep these weapons into the next? The time is ticking down. Kit, that's not a luxury they have. An eight core, oh, cut off the angle, spam down, deals damage to both sides, but it's eight core come out on top. And now, Waro, just a scout. Has no chance to win the round. Time is already too far ticked, and dealing damage would be a dream. He'll find the op on the way out. A good little treat and a rifle to work with. It's a damaging round, but not a win. No, certainly not. Certainly not. Big round to take for Mouse as well. Obviously, the buy's going to come back in, but that uh, that decent economy is pliable. They're gonna be fine. They're going to be fine to cruise on through. Mad Lions. Now's uh, what I would call a pretty pivotal round. Pretty big swing around here, right? Can you start to enforce your will? Or start to get swept away here. Some of those wind conditions are piling up for Mouths. Rops looking awake. Looking like Rops. Always a concerning factor. Is going missing might have been a big piece of you being able to stack up rounds in the first half. It's not happening anymore. Some damage on the initial face. No, nothing special, Dexter. Nothing special. And it seems Push. like they're going to come up catwalk. They will. Boro is here, though. sop has been good to find these openers, and that nade is excellent. Both Frozen and Dexter chip down low off the utility is... Raw will post on the line. Smoke to allow continued creep up towards this catwalk and a flash goes high. World looks for the boost. It's not coming. Instead, just straight up push. He's still ready and up to the task. It's DMB adding on into that one as another flash comes through. Utility is still here for Mouse to push, but players have dwindled. The bomb is down. Acor, though, able to find a crucial kill, but the biggest issue here is getting Salsa out of the pit. The flank is coming by from the likes of Rops, but does he know about that pit position? Does he know about that player? Because the post plant relies so heavily on that space being taken. TMB, the jumping frag, and now it's just Rops. He's claimed long, but it's needs more. The defuse already coming through, and with only five seconds, there's just no chance. Borup but the op closes things out, and Mad Lions recover into the double digits. Yeah, without the bomb being planted for him, there's no way to defend that with an AK from Pit. It's just a hopeless situation, and he knew it. Had to try and force it. We see another elevator jump. Seen a lot of these today. It's our second of the map. Players feeling bold about that one. Obviously, it's a little easier to pull off when your opponent is planting the bomb and can't shoot back. Uh, but it's a nice one. TMB. Now just within one. We said it was a swing round. Now Mad Lions giving themselves a very strong fighting chance on their own map pick. And a fight in towards mid. Woro looking for it, but he's not quick enough on the shot. And he is punished for his boldness. His hand slapped away from the cookie jar. Okay, yeah, will at least be able to bring it back. He's got an AWP of his own, but he's going to be caught out in towards mid. Repositioning. I had no idea Chris J was so close. And the aggression from both sides is paying dividends. Rops down to one as well. They're limping along. This is going back and forth quicker than a yo-yo. Rops and Frozen, all that remains. And Rops just a whisper of himself, but at least he's got the AWP. Good old Bogdan's Law in effect, giving him a chance to shoot without being shot back. It's going to come down to Frozen. I love the mouse cam from Frozen. This is like the most dynamic player cam angle. 
it's got some perspective going on. I feel yeah. like this is a this is like a a bold camera choice in an action movie. You know what I mean? Yeah, you can feel yourself inside the game. Rops, on the other hand, he's got the posture cam. You can see the the very imperfect posture coming out of Rops, but you got to see that monitor <laughs> to hit those classic Rops shots. Smoke queued up here for Frozen. Tons of flashes to work with as well on the implementation of the site hit TMB out from long. Has Smoke of his own to play around. He'll take the peak up top the car and spray away. Oh, somehow not finding Rops with the flank is here. Sauce was able to pick one off and now Frozen has to fight out between two. The pinch tries to close this out and Sauce still playing well, not enough. His head removed and still up that boost top car. Sits the players towards Long Warp. Now joining TMB, but with the health low on TMB, there's a chance still. That time is the biggest question at this point. He just seems the kills and Borup not going to allow it. Mad Lions, they even that scoreline 11 all as they recover in a nice little round. Are you a good posture gamer, Mimi? No. God, no. Yeah, me I'm, neither. I'm, I'm more of a ROPS. I am more of a lean into my monitor as much as possible because I don't like wearing my glasses when I play and I cannot mm. see. So, you gotta see the game. You gotta see the I game. mean, so if you, you just have to smell the game. You can't, yeah. you can't see, so you just gotta it's get like nose to the monitor. The old Zontara's peak. Yeah. Oh, around the corner comes one. It's a Chris J. And, well, Chris J, he's done. Trying to set up his teammates. Yeah, mixed results. Some damage has been done. Maybe they're a bit vulnerable to the pistols, but there's more players here to reinforce. And it seems like they do want to commit into this long fight, perhaps. Want to get the scout in towards pit. That's not going to happen. Frozen looking for the fight, but it's an op on the other side. And Waro's gun's just a little bigger. Just a bit. Acor's finally got the scout. Kind of wondering why he maybe didn't have it early on. But uh, it might be a little too little too late. As Mao's a pure to be just about washed on out of this one. Three of these players, though, are lit enough that one bullet from that scout could do them on in. If nothing else, it's good to help this damage, but the man you're peeking into out from long, that's Waro. He's got a nice little off angle posted with the off. This is hit jacked. Acor, now's your chance. Won't happen. The wall bang is there. That's Sossel on cleanup duty. Mad Lions find things nicely in that anti-eco. Just the scouts and the deagles that were looking to deal out the damage now. We have to take things from the mouse perspective. They have a buyback on in. This momentum has started to slip, but they have plentiful utility. They have what they need in their back pocket for this round. What is the play? They've generally been slow thus far. Play out their defaults. Try and let something aggressive happen towards long, but uh, a big hole in their armor has been Waro 2K with these openings, especially out towards long. And there's another chance for him to find his mark. Acor on the line, and this time he wins it out. TMB as well. Stuck on this right side. Acor, though, not clearing it, so the trade is through. We stay four versus four, but mid control picked up for Mouse. Cow walks. Base is going to be given, but that's a huge kill to find on towards Rops. Now they don't have to deal with the Lurk. It's just this one location that needs to be a concern. And TMB going to connect further shots at AWP, making its presence felt in a big way, bringing the pain. So just Dexter. And Chris J, in-game leader in the stand-in to try and hold on to this. And Dexter will make a go of it, but it's not to happen. Not here, not now, not today. 13th round found Mad Lions cruising, rolling on through now. Four rounds in a row to try and bring them over the precipice of their own map pick. And despite that bomb plant, it's again not going to be an ideal situation here for Maus. That's a nice little detail. TMB just threw yeah. a nade up and then goes to find more love to see it. The micro from Mad Lions looking good, but in this round, it was an issue of the long duel, right? Initially won out there by the op of Maus, but the trade was there. TMB was pushed so deep and he had great mid-round rotation to find his way back towards that A site and anchor into the late round. TMB, well, he's not normally the one you point out. He's been a star for this team in a way of his consistency and on this map. That's been huge. Waro, though, this one's pretty aggressive, looks for a peek out towards the lower tons, and it's a good time to do it, because Mouse looks to contest this space. The shot rings out, but won't find truth, because that space will be picked up by the Mouse side, as the bomb stays down in that lower tons position. Maybe a setup for a B hit, but JL, I think that's just a random spam through the smoke, finding its mark onto Rops. Ooh. 
A little bit of action here in towards mid, but it's going to be Chris J who comes out on top. And good is the entry, but the trade is there off of a nade. An advantage firmly in the hands of Mad Lions. They are turning mid into a graveyard, dropping everybody here. It's a massacre. Bodies strewn across the sand. And Acor will. He'll try and hold on, but it's only so much damage that he can do. That's going to be Mad Lions kicking themselves ever closer to map point and this is looking darn good and for the mad lions it's been jl all the way he's got 27 kills to his name been a monster here contributes in this round as well and just the shutdown coming through with saucel at its helm tactical timeout called here this is i believe the first one for either of these teams thus far mm -hmm. in the game and it's from the side of the mad lions mouse sports stuck down onto a lesser buy to try and avoid match point and Another fun fact, Borup and Acor played for North Acad at DreamHack Open Winter 2017. It is also at DreamHack Open 47. Oh, got a little bit of history there between a couple of these players. Is, uh, yeah, North Sag. One-time teammates, star-crossed lovers, perhaps. <laughs> Forlorn, cursed by destiny to meet upon the field of battle and shoot each other repeatedly. Fortunately, they respawn, so it's not there that tragic. Go. Not that tragic at all. Oh, Rops. Discipline on two. Looks for the one crucial frag there onto the op, but he's only got a scout TMB, though. He's got a fully automatic M4 with plentiful bullets to spray down two scores. Long, that Saucel helping him out. Chris J. Peak right there with the reply on the scout. Those guns are not recoverable. So deep out towards Long, the repush is already there from Saucel to claim this longhouse position or at very least to cut it off the smoke of his own posturing here gives options you can lurk one up through mid try and give chris j another shot hoping someone's holding out towards me and it's the right call you have a smoke there to get this peak towards the car position and yet again up top it's waro tag connects will not be a kill take or needs to find this shot but again they've fallen away they're playing this so safe for Mad Lions. They're not giving these duels away for free. They have full information as to where Mouse is, but Acor might have crept past still. Look at the setup. They're allowing this A site to be taken and just hunkering down towards Long. They've gambled that there's not enough, enough utility to get Saucel off this line, and they're absolutely right. Nothing at all to work with for Mouse Sports. The best they can hope for is maybe plant for Cat, hope you can get something done in the post, but they're already being pinched. Two players out towards B still. This means mid is a big priority and catwalk. That can get cut off. They need to win these duels early and Waro is the first man up. Oh, a little bit of a shot missed there. The shoulder peak baits him on through. He's got teammates, so they're going to be able to play together. And I mean, even with the pistol, it's not the worst thing in the world, but okay. Acorn making some noise, posing some questions here. Rock forced in towards Gandalf, and they are just going to overwhelm one way or another. He was done. He was just, and that's going to be map point found for Mad Lions. The bomb plant at least does give Mouse a fighting chance to play for overtime here. But this is, reminder, the sixth round in a row for Mad Lions, and they're looking to tack on a seventh to seal the deal on their map pick and to move us on over. I'm honestly a little disappointed that we haven't seen any tactical bosses come out of Mouse's game. There's been so many situations where the I... momentum is just pulling against them. They have these big issues. There's no pause. So uh, I think Mither, their coach, may have a power outage of his own that he's dealing with. Oh. So they may not have a coach in the server. Um, that would be unfortunate were it the case. But uh, clearly, yeah, not having a good day here for Mouse. And they haven't been able to slow this momentum at all. Waro get a trade initially but at least it's jl that they've taken out of the server because jl has been ridiculous so far this game going blow to blow with acor both sitting on 28 kills speaking of acor it's gonna catch saucel trying to get a little bit cheeky around the flank does he expect a second one out of the angle though and a second one with the off he does he's ready for it he's ready for it they push it they're punished and that leaves a wide on open avoid left gaping on the site, and they're going to come on in to fill it with a bomb. I'd reckon you save here if you're Mad Lions. Yes, you've been able to build up the economy, but still, keeping two guns into the next would be great, and the money isn't stellar. Still a case to be made to try and work for some exits, but Rops, he's denying that. He's already lurked up sneaky towards this B site, this mid. That'll be the positioning for Mad Lions. Feast on this utility, recover it from your fallen teammates. His bore up. Oh, he's been spotted. Dexter has the shot. It's just TMB 
alone. I think he's trying to hunt for the op that went down towards the long house, but that's not gonna happen. Dexter, good to clean up those final frags. Mouse, not only do they get the round, but crucially, they get it cleanly. Their economy can start to build and you can start to make a case for overtime. Maybe. Just maybe. 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 Unless. But maybe. Mm. Perhaps. Three what? rounds. I mean, that's all they need, Mimi. Three rounds yeah. is, is, a, is a doable thing. And the money for Mad Lines is still here, but you win two. You set that on the tipping point, and that chance becomes maybe more than a maybe. Especially, you know, if Acorns is ripping everybody. Be nice. He has crested 30 at this point. For those of you who like numbers. Big numbers. 30 burgers. He's hungry. It's like a White Castle burger situation. Yeah, 30 burgers and 30 There's a classic more movie burgers. that you may not have seen because you're a youth. Have you seen Harold and Kumar go to White Castle? I don't even know what that is. Never heard of it. All right. Never seen it. It's a great movie. Great movie. Highly recommend uh, at some point. That's a, an absolute classic. I guess of my generation, mm. I would say. So I suppose <sighs> if you're in chat, have you watched the movie? Have you seen it? What's the crossover between classic film fans and Counter-Strike fans? I like, wouldn't sure? describe it as a classic film. Mm. Unless a that's film. what I already said. It, it's a, a film, great I suppose. Film. Great film. It's there you go. Film. That's a word. TMB. Oh, he's sneaking up oh. close here. Right. He's shown his position. Chris J. He just sends it straight on through. Drops down towards C. How does he? He doesn't even look for TMB. What's that? No follow-up. A big mistake from Chris J. This could cost him. The map is the flash. He's perfect. TMB finds more. It's JL adding on in. And now Mouse is cut down to two. It's Dexter and Acor. They've been big in this game, but they need something bigger. And Acor has already found two. He's gotten the frags necessary to make this look doable. But now he needs the ace. A tall task. A young man. Can he be up to it? Looks for the frag. Realizes the flank the potential, but the timing's off the flank. Oh, it's so fast, but it won't connect. And Mad Lions, they close the deal 16 to 12 as they take their pick and go 1-0 up in the series over Mouse. That was a beautiful example of how potent the silent.